oh, look at your love reading. You have, it's the underlying energy, the overall energy of the reading. It's the Four of Wands. It is stability. This is Aries energy. It's initiating stability at this time in your love life. Both of you want the same thing. You're on the same page. This is a marriage card. It is 11-11. It's a twin flame card. But most importantly, it is about the four corners of a house building a foundation building something that you can enjoy in the future. It does look like you have a strong foundation now, so I think that's a great energy. In the recent past, you both see each other as the absolute epitome of the right person to be with. You both see one another's value. This is all about your hopes and dreams for love coming true. It is a spiritual awareness of what it takes to make your relationship feel good, to have happiness, to have success this beautiful enlightenment, you are one another's rock star. And that is really, really Aquarius energy, beautiful enlightened energy about love. We have the Queen of Cups energy, which is go, what's going on between the two of you right now. You are both feeling very much emotionally attuned to each other. You feel as though you can pick up one another's energy. It's about loving deeply, wholeheartedly, without any question. We have the energy in terms of how your person views the relationship. Eight of Wands, that is Sagittarius energy. They may be traveling a ways to see you. It's airfare, it's journeys, but they also feel very much that they are coming towards you very rapidly with a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm. They view you as being very much guarded at this time. It's Sagittarius energy again. I would say that it's going to be very important for you to be able to match their energy because they see you as being um, defensive. You know, they're really open. They're coming towards you very rapidly. These two energies here are giving you a lot of power in the relationship. So it will be important for you to feel it's safe to go in the water, as they said in the movie Jaws. It really is safe to go in the water. In your person's heart space, they feel very worried. Uh, about things that have been done and said in the past. And again, Seven of Swords energy is, we're going to clarify that. Let's see what the Seven of Swords energy is. Let's see, why is it here? It's the only negative card in the entire reading. Seven of Swords, though, is a tough card. Okay, so your person is very much fearful that they don't know everything, and yet they think they do. Seven of Swords energy says that they're going to come towards you romantically. We have Scorpio King here. Your person feels as though the two of you need to move away from any burdens that happened in the past. That they feel very much that to have success in this relationship, they are in it to win it. And that any old worries, deceptions, perceived lies, Anything that could have undermined the relationship in the past is being given up at this time. It does show your person is come out of this worry and fear that you might be betraying them or whatever worries they had. Scorpio is known, the Scorpio energy is known to be jealous and covetous and secretive. And so what we see here is your person going into this very sweet, kind, loving Pisces energy. It's much more helpful to the relationship. We see that your person views a relationship as one in which you are soulmates, you're meant to be together, you are lovers, and this is the choice card. They are choosing you. They want to look deeply into your eyes. They want a passionate new beginning with you uh, and a continuation with you. Both of you are throwing caution to the winds. This is what's hidden in the relationship uh, between the two of you is that both of you are like children. You want to have fun together. And so you should. Again, throwing caution to the wind, Sagittarius energy. Spirit is saying that the two of you have completed a very successful cycle of growth and working through old issues and that you are really now ready to manifest the relationship. The King of Swords energy is one of surgical precision. It is detached. It's Aquarius energy. It really speaks to the fact that both, both of you are very clear-headed about what you want in the relationship. You both want it, and let's clarify exactly what that means for you, Leo, in your relationship. Speaking the truth to each other, 
very much getting over your old wounds, sharing your worries or your concerns with each other in a very constructive way, giving up toxicity. This is great. Giving up toxicity and really recognizing that both of you are powerful beings. You're both prepared to come to this relationship as single people with a lot of empowerment. Let's see what we have here for the Nine of Wands. What's Spirit's advice for you feeling defensive? It says release it. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Right now, all of your worries and fears are only going to make you react incorrectly. If you're not careful, you're going to put your head down, your head is down, and you don't see that the relationship is there in front of you. So is the key to the door that you think is closed. So it really speaks to the fact that you need to make that scorpionic ability, you need to have it to let old wounds and old worries go. Let's see what else you have for advice from spirit. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So stand in your power, nurture the relationship, stay balanced, and enjoy the reunion that is about to happen. So let's take a look, Leo, and see what we have for your overall, the High Priestess energy, the Oracle of the High Priestess. What's the wisdom here for you that you can utilize at this time? We have summoning power, instinct, intellect, control, right? And just kind of keeping yourself, you know, really well modulated. Hidden knowledge, Akashic records, silent understanding. So you do know what, you really know this relationship inside and out. And you have all the power. What we're seeing is that you just need to, you know, just be really willing to give up your worries. And that's, worry never helped anybody or solved any problem. So let's look and see what your destiny card is, Leo. What is your destiny card at this time? The readings are timeless, but this is being published for the second week in September. Openness isn't that exactly the key. You need to be open. Open your heart. You are completely safe. This is a beautiful opportunity for you, Leo. So let's look and just look into the space of how your person is feeling. Let's look at their energy here and see why they feel so much love for you. Why do they feel so much love for you at this time? They just feel as though the two of you are victorious because you really love each other. The love is genuine. It's very real. The two of you together are a power couple. Your person wants to take you out and introduce you and have reunions with friends and they really want to show you off. Why do we have this energy of mutual star energy Mo both of you really feeling that the other one is your wish fulfillment we get after a long time of being worried you have great clarity that there's nobody else with whom you are this happy this sexy this fun that the laughter that the love that the love making is really quite beautiful it really speaks to the fact this is the throwing that wand in the air and really embracing the fact that the relationship is very, it's a lot of fun, it's enjoyable, and both of you are very good souls, and you're good to one another. Your person really is very enthusiastic about the concept of a traditional relationship. They very much want you to be committed to one another. They want the relationship to carry the traditional responsibilities of fidelity, of deep love, of loyalty, you know, of being together, of building something together. King of Wands energy, there you go. That's Leo energy. Your person is bringing this beautiful, fiery leadership into the relationship with you, Leo. Why is the Lover's card here for how your person sees a relationship going forward? Your person feels as though two of you invested, you have invested quite a lot in this relationship. The Wheel of Fortune, your person feels very, very lucky to have you in their life. We feel this person, Seven of Cups, has many options if they wanted them, but I'm seeing them charging straight towards you. It doesn't appear that you, to, to you, it appears that they're coming at you with player energy, but they are not. They know what they want. Queen of, Queen of Wands energy is all about commitment. Queens and queens want to marry. They want to have traditional relationships, and we have a divine couple. 
Queen of Wands, King of Wands, okay? So why do we have the card of throw caution to the winds? Chariot, move forward quickly. Do not hesitate to go. The relationship has gone through a complete transformation and rebirth. That's beautiful energy. It is having gone through the scorpionic process with your person of purging out that energy which is not going to sustain the relationship and to replace it with a powerful magnetic ability to be successful with the world card. World card's most successful card in the deck. The three of coins, how the two of you will move forward at this time is you will work as a team, you will collaborate, you will pick out paint chips, you have both have fire in your belly for this relationship, you both want this to work. The two of swords, you are not going to talk about it, you're just going to behave in a way that supports the relationship and nurtures the relationship. Look at that, beautiful, nurturing, safe, divine love. So that's what I have for you, Leah. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.